at everyone the Vita 3K Android version will release publicly next Sunday at 11 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time plus 1. Vita 3K is still an experimental emulator and this is the first release so don't be surprised if the emulator crashes when trying some games, it will only improve over time. Minimum Requirements ARM64 Device with Vulkan 1.0 Support Android 7 Plus Note, if your device supports Vulkan 1.0, then it is running at least Android 7. Recommended Requirements To be updated, but if your device only has the minimum requirements, don't expect to be able to run anything more than some homebrews, 2D games. The Android version will not be open source for at least a few months. This means that nobody else is able to build, modify it. If you were to install a version that is not an APK downloaded from this channel, you'll get nothing out of it except possibly a virus. The Android version supports custom drivers for Adreno devices. If you have an Adreno 6XX GPU, it is recommended to use Turnip drivers to get a big speed increase. Vita 3K is compatible with ADPKG drivers. About licensing, as you may, or not, know, Vita 3K has a GPL2 license, which means one is not allowed to make a modified version and publish it without the source code attached. Which is exactly what I am doing. I got the approval of the devs and contributor of Vita 3K to publish this version. If you contributed to Vita 3K, did not see my message and do not want your contribution to be part of the Android version while it is closed source, just ping me and I'll remove your commits. Of course, GPL2 dependencies, i.e. Unicorn, will also not be included for the time being.